Hey, what's going on, everybody? DroidLife.com here. Uh, over the next few weeks, or maybe even ongoing, we're going to you know, bring bringing you sort of a series of application reviews just to get some of the new applications, some of the important ones out there in video format for people to check out in case they're interested in using it, and just to give sort of our opinion on whether they're worth it or not. Uh, so the first one we're going to start out with is this little red raccoon guy right here. Uh, this is Seismic, which is the newest Twitter application out there that's actually worth checking out. Uh, there's a ton of them out there, but basically Twitter Android and Seismic are the only two you should waste any of your time with. Um, and actually, since Seismic's come out, we've switched over to that. We're not even using Twidroid anymore. We actually like Seismic that much. So let's get right into it, show you some of the fun stuff that's going on in here. Um, when it pops up, the first thing you'll notice, well, actually, the first time you open it, you'll have to log in with your Twitter account, obviously, and it'll populate all of your information for you, okay? Um, all of your, you know, your, your new tweets and stuff like that. Um, but basically, the first thing I notice when I open this thing up is just how big everything is, how easy to read it is. I wouldn't necessarily say that it runs smoother or faster or anything like that than Twidroid, but it's just bigger, bolder, and easier to read. Um, not that I'm some old, ancient man that needs big old buttons to push on. Um, I'm just saying it makes everything easier including using Twitter, which I use constantly in the internet world. So um, let's just look at some of the things here. Um, you got your timeline, you got your replies, you got your messages, and you got your profile, and then you got this big old refresh button. Now in Twidroid, you got all that stuff down at the bottom, but it's in mini buttons, and your refresh button's tucked way over here, and it's just kind of a pain. And this one just makes it so much easier. Okay, so let's keep going through some of these. Uh, this is our major, this is our main timeline. Um, you can see, you can limit the number of tweets you want in there, things like that. Um, you can see it's scrolls just fine. The application works great. Uh, we can go into our replies, you know, and it keeps all of your replies, and you have a refresh button in there, too. You can go into your direct messages, which also has a refresh button. Um, it groups all of your sent and your received direct messages together, which, you know, could be annoying, but Twidroid's doing the same thing, so can't really complain too much there. Um, and then the fourth tab over here is your actual profile, and you can view anyone's profile um, in, in Seismic, and it looks just like this. You know, list your tweets, your favorites, who you're following, your followers, followers, um, the list you're included in, who you are, your picture, your website, description, all that stuff. So pretty cool. Oh. Um, and, and then let's go in and let's look at a message real quick so we can show you some of the options. You know, they're not necessarily different than Twidroid, I just like the way it works. Okay. So let's go into this first message I got here in a reply. Uh, first thing you notice when you click on a message, it actually takes you to that message page and it gives you the person that sent it up at the top. And if you want to go right to their profile, you know, you can just click right on their name. Okay. You can also go in and anybody that's included in the message, you can click on their name and it's going to take you right to their Twitter page as well. And actually, let me show you this. When you go to someone else's Twitter page other than your own, right there it gives you a public reply or direct message big button in there. And then down at the bottom it gives you follow and block buttons, which are always handy. And then, of course, you can look at all their tweets and all that stuff. In there as well. Um, okay, let's go back, show you one other thing um, as far as replies go. So I clicked on one of these replies that I had, and if you click on this button right here and reply to a message that I'd already sent, so it kind of gives you that whole view conversation thing, and it lets you, let's, I mean, if we'd have been having a long conversation, we'd be able to keep hitting it over and it would show us an extra message, what we were replying to, and all of that stuff. Um, so very cool. Um, you can also, you know, click the little star if you want to set it as one of your favorites or not. Um, that's a nice option to have on there. And let's see, if we go back in, let's go back to the timeline. Um, back to your timeline, if you just pull up your options, you'll also notice you can go into lists. And your lists bring up, first of all, the ones that you follow. So I only follow a couple with this Twitter account. And then you can also look at the ones following you. Okay. So that's a nice handy little feature. Uh, let's see, we can also go down in here and go to search. And you can search for whatever you want in Twitter. You can also check out trending topics. That's kind of nice. Those seem to actually be pretty up to date. Definitely liking that feature. Um, let's see, another thing you might want to know how to do or just options to see is actually when you compose a message. When you compose a message, you get this giant text screen. Okay. So you can see if we click in there, we got our swipe keyboard. You can, you know, message, do whatever you need to do in there. Um, but some of the cool options in here are your camera button down here. Select that, and you can either take a new photo, select one from a gallery, take a video, select a video from a gallery. It gives you those options right there. You can also click this little tag button down here, and it'll pull up wherever you are on the map and put a map link in there. 
gotta love that. And then down there, there's a link button, and I'm sure that's just to shorten URLs and stuff like that. Um, okay. So when you're back to your main page, you can also go in, and there's a settings button. And when you go into settings, you can set up notifications. You can set up pretty much anything that goes along with Twitter. Um, you can set up your video and picture uploaders, your URL shortener, uh, notifications, number of tweets you want in there, all that stuff. Uh, the only problem I've seen so far with Seismic is the fact that you cannot add multiple Twitter accounts. And so far, there is not a paid version that allows that, so that would be the one step that's behind Twidroid. But other than that, like I said, we've been using this one, and it is definitely our favorite. So uh, that's our first application review. This is Seismic. Uh, if you've got comments, questions, leave them at the blog, which is droid-life.com, or leave them in comments at the YouTube channel. Let us know what you think, and we're out. Peace.